Fashion guy in here uh, with another vlog, but uh, this time is gonna be a little different with the vlog. We're gonna try and so this time we're gonna try and do something new with fashion, which I'm really into at the moment. But yeah, so well, some of you are probably wondering where I've been, what I've been doing, with the vlogs, and with the videos, all that crap. But, it's been rough. I've been doing some school stuff, been focusing on what I'm going to do for my future, all that stuff. And, I've also been making my clothes, or designing them, however you should, whatever you want to say. But, yeah, doing something new. So, I've been making my own clothes, like with this design here. Like a little MSTFS, wait, how do you... Okay, so with this design here that I made with the hoodie, it, it's like a little bit of a MSTFS rep kind of vibe. If you don't know what that fashion line is, it's like it's by Jaden Smith and Willow Smith, which I'm highly inspired by because it's really the clothes really stands out. But um, yeah, it has that kind of vibe to it, and as you can see, I also added some zippers on the the cuffs for the little you know you can't see but yeah so I also added the Punisher symbol yeah, it's a little bit dirty because I don't really have a work table or anything like that I'm doing this shit on my rug but um yeah so also I'm also promoting a new like how should I say it's like it has something to do with photography and all that type of stuff. So it has to do with a lot of photography and a little bit of like an urban outfitters type of vibe to it. So it's like, it's, it's a business that's gonna be held by me and my friend. And yeah, it'll be dope. So look into that soon, but we're gonna start promoting a video for that in about three weeks. I just gotta wait for this new outfit that I'm working on to come from H&M that I ordered. So, yeah. Look into that. But, other than that, um, yeah. So, I've just been making my own clothes. Now, if you want to look, I could give you, like, a few peeks. I made myself, you know, wasn't that hard. But the materials do cost a lot. So. It's whatever. But also. I have also made these jeans. Well not like made made them. But like customized them. Did whatever I wanted to do. Because you know. You just got to think outside the box sometimes. I also added the zippers. That was not a hard thing to do. It is going to be hard. For those who. Like, can't find the proper materials or anything like that. But yeah. But yeah, other than that, you know, doing some new things. Like, you know what? Let me just show you my closet. How about that? Like, so what we have here is like another MSTFS rep kind of vibe. But instead, like, I call this one fake identity. Only because, like, it's... It's made with a shirt, like a shirt that I don't wear anymore, about like three shirts, a Run DMC shirt and a diamond shirt and a, what do you, what do you call it, what, what's the name, Dirty Ghetto Kids shirt. A lot of people like this design and they're, they're, they're digging it, they're digging it, but we'll get into that later. This is just a basic r and or Arnak, however you pronounce it, jacket, and it has a, I haven't worn it because, like, I feel, when I get sweaty in school, you know, it's just, uh you get that musty kind of feeling that you feel like, you know, you smell musty or whatever, but, yeah, but this is a, a long pink hoodie that I ordered from H&M, I haven't done anything to it, except a little distressing to get that kind of Yeezy, or Yeezus kind of vibe, but with this, 
pink hoodie that I ordered. I ordered this long shirt. Has that kind of Yeezus type of vibe. So like, yeah, really digging that. Um, <clears throat> got a Tommy Hilfiger jacket with uh, a plain crew neck pink T-shirt from H and M. Yeah, I like um, H and M a lot because like their products, they're not too bad, not too high, or not too expensive, not too cheap. They're 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 good quality clothes. So this is also what we have here is another H and M hoodie, but like it has that color block. Not like a color block, but we'll get into that soon. I'm still learning about color blockings, but like this, like it covers your neck, has that kind of look to it. Also, what we have here is my Thrasher shirt. I barely wear this, but I do cherish it. It's like, is it my favorite color? Like at first, I didn't want it because I wanted it in a hoodie, but they didn't have this color on a hoodie. So I was like, you know what, just screw it. Let me just get this. But yeah, it's good. Also, what we have here is a Metallica shirt from H&M. This is pretty dope. Like, I like it, but don't kind of like it because at the same time, it's it's a small, but it fits me like it's a medium. And I'm, I'm just really skinny. So, like, yeah. And we also have another H&M hoodie. Um, the purpose of uh, the purpose world tour hoodie. I cus I customized it by like bleaching it because like a lot of people at my school have this same crap. So then I was like, you know what? I'm just sick and tired of being like everyone else. So I just want to do my own thing and be different. So yeah, I just went on ahead. I got a few mixed. Um, what do you call it? Biased opinions about it but once again I just I really don't care because like as long as I love it and I like what I do with my clothes it's it's all Gucci now the grand prize like now um these are H these are all H&M jeans but what I did was customize like half of them now these right here are my babies they I put I had that fear of God look into them um, I looked into, if you don't know this, this one YouTuber, Harrison Neville, I, I think I pronounced it right. He, um, he inspired me to do this because I like the way he dresses and all that stuff. And like, he, he has good taste. And also this, um, it wasn't just inspired by Harrison Neville. It was also inspired by Jaden Smith in a way like he has pants, you know, by MSTSF Rep. I don't know if I pronounced it right because it's a long ass, a long ass name, but like, yeah, it's just awesome. And on to the next, we have that NASCAR kind of vibe to my, um, these, the, what, what are they called? The denim fiber recycled jeans from H&M. And I also added that fear of God type of look to them. Very comfortable, like had no problem making them my own instead of just going out to like because like at the stores like jeans like these with zippers on them cost like 50 or 60 or even 40 and some people don't have money like that so I just went on ahead and made my own because just, shit is just expensive for no reason so now that you gotta look at my closet and what I wear, what I made, um, yeah, so, I don't have a lot of shoes, I'm still building on those, because, like, some major issues, but, can't really get into that, but, shoes, I'm not a big fan of Jordan, or, like, just not a big fan of Jordan, I just really don't like his shoes. The only shoes but the only shoes I would prefer from Jordan are like the twelves or the twos. Cause they really the twos actually like the pink twos, I don't know if they recently came out. They actually kinda like have that urban outfitter type of vibe with an outfit that she would put on, let's say with like a with like um some Fear of God jeans with uh 
like a camo jacket and let's say a long t-shirt or plain white t-shirt or whatever type of color it is and yeah that's why I would prefer the twos and what else would I prefer I don't know just those two the twelves and the twos my preferred favorite pair of Jordans other shoe brands that I do kinda like like really like are Nike Vans um and Adidas especially Adidas um I always been trying to get like these the R1 Prime and NMDs which are really expensive because you know they they're really popular and we're in an era where like running shoes are definitely like the fashion trend and yeah just yeah and a lot of what people wear these days is really on point it goes with like like okay so like we have the checker low top vans which are really really nice they're not too not too high of a price to get you know and they're not too like it's it's hard to explain but they're really comfortable always wanted those shoes I would prefer those over like any other type of shoe now also you have NMDs and Adidas NMDs are like an ultra boost they're like a huge fashion trend now and a lot of people at school wear them I see a lot of people like not a lot of people I know because I'm in Maryland but like in New York yes you would see a lot of people wear those shoes because it's like the street wear nowadays so yeah and uh, yeah so just had to make this video to show you guys all my fans what I've been doing it's not like I deleted or like went MIA only for like because I, I just been busy so that's all and yeah hopefully I could get this business started with my friend my co-worker ish um because like I'm really this photo shoot like if you follow me on Instagram um on fashion god and you know at instagram.com or whatever what if you even have the app doesn't really matter if you follow me um you can see all the pictures I do all the photo shoots that I do show off my fashion and like the clothes I make now for this next project I can't really go into it because I don't want to spoil the idea I'm also an artist like I do I draw cartoons anime all that stuff so it's, it's gonna be kind of all I can say is it's just gonna be like a a mix of art with fashion <laughs> is a great idea so and uh can't really show you my room because like it involves the idea I have like this this is what I made myself I, I have like that hipster urban type of mind so some of the pictures I drew and some most of them I just printed out or just one picture I drew, which is Rick and Morty, that picture right there. I really like that show, it's, it's really awesome, you should get into it. But uh, yeah, um, vlogs will be coming soon, just gotta, I gotta make a schedule of what days to do it and what days not to do it. And yeah, stay tuned, Fashion Got Ant, out.